hello. Bollard pole calculation is a crucial aspect in the design and operation of marine vessels, particularly in the maritime and offshore industries. Bollard pole refers to the pulling force exerted by a vessel when it is stationary and using its propulsion system at maximum power against a fixed point, such as a bollard. In this video, you will learn how to do manual calculation for bollard pole, which will be beneficial for your planning for selecting the right tugboat. For this example, we plan to sea transport the cargo using 280 feet barge from one location to another location, and using a tugboat to pull it. These are the design criteria or weather criteria that we will take into account for our computation. The requirements for towing the barge depends on the location. Please consult your local guidelines for further information. Example. This is the detail of barge during towing, where the draft is 2.5 meter and water line length is 76 meter. Now, let's start to calculate the barge longitudinal and transverse freeboard area. Freeboard refers to the vertical distance measured from the water line to the upper deck level of a ship or boat. This distance helps determine the height of the ship's sides above the water line when it is loaded with cargo. Multiply the barge length to barge freeboard height to get the longitudinal freeboard area and same thing for transverse. Next. Calculate the longitudinal and transverse draft area. Barge draft refers to the vertical distance between the water line and the deepest point of the barge's hull. The draft of a barge is affected by factors such as the weight and distribution of cargo, ballast, and other loads on board. Multiply the barge water line to barge draft to get the longitudinal draft area and same thing for transverse. Now, let assume this is the size of the cargo on top of the barge. Length is 20 meter, width is 15 meter and height is 8 meter. Note. Drawing is not in scale, this is for illustration purpose only. Next. Calculate the area of the cargo that direct to the wind. I assume the wind direction is at transverse direction. In some cases, you can include the longitudinal area of the cargo for calculation. If your cargo is huge and the exposure to the wind is higher. Now. After getting all the data, start to calculate the current force and wave drift force at transverse direction. Please take note the formula and bring out your calculator so you can follow me in my computation. Next, calculate the wind force at transverse direction. Once you get all this forces acting on barge and cargo. By adding this forces you will get the total towing resistance. Next. Towing pull required. Example you plan to use the tugboat with 25 ton bollard pull and length of tugboat is 26.06 meter. Base in guidelines for marine transportations, 0030-ND. See the formula to get the estimation of tug efficiency. 
Our proposed tug if sufficient to pull the 280 feet barge base on environmental criteria. Here are the spreadsheet for the calculation. Soon to be shared to all simple and basic YouTube members.